What happens when it's something as serious as cancer? God designed that every decision we make should be made according to reason, intellect, and judgment. We need to know what cancer loves so we can stop it. <laughs> Dr. Barbara O'Neill, a name synonymous with innovation and dedication, has recently made a stunning revelation in the realm of cancer research that promises to revolutionize our understanding and treatment of this formidable disease. The title of the presentation this morning is to discuss cancer and its causes. This discovery not only highlights the potential for new therapeutic approaches, but also underscores the intricate complexities of cancer biology. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. Cancer, a term that encompasses over a hundred distinct diseases, is characterized by the uncontrolled growth and spread of abnormal cells. Despite decades of research, the war against cancer has been a challenging endeavor, marked by significant victories and humbling setbacks. Traditional treatments like surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy have saved countless lives, yet they often come with severe side effects and variable success rates. And some come to us when they get cancer, and they've been given the alternatives of what the world would offer, which is surgery, uh, chemotherapy, radiotherapy. The need for novel approaches has never been more pressing. Dr. Barbara O'Neill, a seasoned researcher with a career spanning over three decades, has been at the forefront of this quest. Her work, rooted in molecular biology and biochemistry, has consistently pushed the boundaries of our knowledge. Her latest discovery, however, stands as a testament to her relentless pursuit of understanding the enigma that is cancer. At the heart of Dr. O'Neill's revelation is the human microbiome, the vast community of microorganisms that reside within our bodies. Once considered merely passengers in our biological systems, these microbes are now recognized as crucial players in maintaining health and influencing disease. So we used to isolate, you know, a couple of bacteria here and there, but then suddenly we had this amazing sequencing technology and we realized then that there were, you know, literally thousands of different species living in our gut. So each one of us would ha has trillions of bacteria in our gut. Dr. O'Neill's groundbreaking research has uncovered a profound link between the microbiome and cancer suggesting that these microscopic inhabitants could be key to both the development and treatment of the disease. Her studies revealed that specific alterations in the microbiome composition could either promote or inhibit cancer growth. This finding was nothing short of revolutionary. By analyzing the microbiomes of cancer patients, Dr. O'Neill identified distinct microbial signatures associated with different types of cancers. These signatures not only provide insights into the disease's origins, but also offer potential biomarkers for early detection. Delving deeper into the mechanisms, Dr. O'Neill's research illuminated how certain bacteria and their metabolites can influence the behavior of cancer cells. The microbiome is essentially all of the microbes, so the bacteria, the viruses, fungi, yeast that reside in and on us, and they are on our skin, they're in our nasal passages, they're in our lungs, uh, and, and they're in our guts. Some microbes were found to secrete compounds that directly interact with cellular pathways involved in tumor growth and metastasis. For instance, specific bacterial metabolites were shown to enhance the effectiveness of the immune system's ability to target and destroy cancer cells. Conversely, other microbial byproducts were discovered to suppress immune responses or create environments conducive to cancer proliferation. This dual nature of the microbiome's influence on cancer underscores the importance of understanding the balance within this microbial ecosystem. It also opens the door to innovative treatment strategies that manipulate the microbiome to favor anti-cancer activities. Dr. O'Neill's discovery heralds a paradigm shift in cancer treatment, moving away from a one-size-fits-all approach towards personalized medicine. By tailoring treatments based on an individual's microbiome profile, it may be possible to enhance the efficacy of existing therapies and reduce their side effects. So we were really interested um, in looking to see if different subtypes of colorectal cancer had a different microbiome. This personalized approach could lead to the development of probiotics and prebiotics specifically designed to alter the microbiome in ways that bolster the body's natural defenses against cancer. Furthermore, 
Her research suggests that the microbiome could play a role in predicting treatment outcomes. By monitoring changes in the microbiome, clinicians might be able to foresee how a patient will respond to a particular therapy, allowing for adjustments that optimize results. This proactive strategy not only enhances the effectiveness of treatment, but also minimizes the physical and emotional toll on patients. The implications of Dr. O'Neill's discovery extend beyond immediate therapeutic applications. Her work has laid the groundwork for a new branch of oncology that integrates microbiome science with traditional cancer research. Future studies will likely focus on identifying the specific microbial species and metabolites that have the most significant impact on cancer. This will involve advanced genomic and metabolomic techniques to map out the complex interactions between the microbiome and cancer cells. Moreover, this research paves the way for novel diagnostic tools. The ability to detect cancer-related microbial signatures in bodily fluids could revolutionize early detection, making it less invasive and more accessible. Such advancements could dramatically improve survival rates by identifying cancers at stages when they are most treatable. I like to think about the microbiome as being like an army inside of us. So if you feed the army particular food, give it particular food, it will um, allow particular bacteria to survive. But if you change it, it will allow different ones who use that, those particular nutrients. Dr. O'Neill's findings also highlight the importance of a holistic approach to cancer prevention. Lifestyle factors such as diet, exercise, and stress management are known to influence the microbiome. By adopting healthy habits that promote a balanced microbiome, individuals may reduce their risk of developing cancer. This preventive strategy aligns with the growing emphasis on integrative medicine, which combines conventional treatments with complementary therapies to optimize health and wellness. Public health initiatives could leverage this knowledge to educate communities about the importance of maintaining a healthy microbiome. Programs that promote nutritious diets rich in fiber, regular physical activity, and stress reduction techniques could have far-reaching benefits in reducing cancer incidence and improving overall health. While Dr. O'Neill's discovery is undeniably groundbreaking, it is not without challenges. The complexity of the microbiome and its interactions with human biology presents significant scientific hurdles. There is still much to learn about the specific mechanisms through which microbes influence cancer and how these interactions vary among individuals. The microbiome area is a very new uh, area in breast cancer research. There are few data um, studying the relationship of microbiome composition and variation with patients' outcomes. Large-scale clinical trials will be essential to validate these findings and translate them into practical treatments. Moreover, ethical considerations must be addressed as this field progresses. The manipulation of the microbiome raises questions about unintended consequences and the long-term effects of such interventions. Ensuring that treatments are safe, effective, and accessible to all patients will require rigorous oversight and collaboration among scientists, clinicians, and regulatory bodies. Amidst the scientific rigor, it is essential to remember the human element of Dr. O'Neill's discovery. Behind every data point is a person fighting a battle against cancer. Her work has already begun to inspire hope among patients and their families, offering a glimpse of a future where cancer is not a death sentence, but a manageable condition. One such story is that of Sarah, a 45-year-old mother of two diagnosed with advanced colorectal cancer. Traditional treatments had failed to yield significant results, leaving her with limited options. However, after participating in a clinical trial based on Dr. O'Neill's research, Sarah experienced a remarkable turnaround. By altering her microbiome through a specialized diet and targeted probiotics, her cancer showed signs of regression. While her journey is far from over, Sarah's story exemplifies the potential of this innovative approach to change lives. Dr. O'Neill's discovery is poised to have a ripple effect across the broader landscape of medical science. The integration of microbiome research into cancer treatment is likely to inspire similar investigations into other diseases. Conditions such as autoimmune disorders, neurological diseases, and metabolic syndromes, which have also been linked to the microbiome, may benefit from this newfound understanding. When bacteria digest fiber, they produce short-chain fatty acids that nourish the gut barrier, improve immune function, 
and can help prevent inflammation, which reduces the risk of cancer. This cross-disciplinary approach reflects a broader trend in medicine towards systems biology, where the interplay between various biological systems is considered in diagnosis and treatment. By viewing the body as an interconnected whole rather than a collection of isolated parts, researchers and clinicians can develop more comprehensive strategies to combat complex diseases. Dr. Barbara O'Neill's stunning discovery on the role of the microbiome in cancer represents a monumental leap forward in our understanding of this pervasive disease. Her work not only offers new avenues for treatment and prevention, but also redefines the way we approach cancer research. As we stand on the cusp of this new dawn, the potential to transform lives and alleviate suffering has never been greater. The journey ahead will undoubtedly be challenging, requiring continued dedication, innovation, and collaboration. However, with pioneers like Dr. O'Neill leading the way, the future of cancer treatment looks brighter than ever. Her discovery is more than a scientific breakthrough. It is a beacon of hope for millions of people around the world, signaling a future where cancer may finally be brought to heal. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on natural cancer remedies? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.